readily available is the first horse we're going to look at here, Jack Bruce, Ben Thompson. 2,500 metres, Bernie, so it's all about who runs the distance. I thought he was terrific last start, strong at the sunny coast, looking good late there, beating Master Marco. The 59 is my concern, though, over this trip. Savvy Legends number two, Jim Allman rides for Lockie Manzeman. Yes, he's as tough as old boots, this guy. He won here two ago, beating a lot of these horses, and then was second last start uh, behind Van Gogh in Toowoomba. So he's very fit for this. And about Nisham trains I Am The Empire with Ryan Maloney. Well, he started favourite in that Savvy Legend race here back on the 27th of May, but he jumped awkwardly, missed the kick, and then was wide. But he went backwards in the straight. Look, blinkers are back on him today, and he drops a little bit in the handicap. So he can probably bounce back. Flensburg, always a chance in a race like this. Tony Gollan and Ange Jones. Yeah, he doesn't mind Ipswich either. He's won a couple here, and this is his go these long distances he has one up to 2400 master marco maxi where do you put him in the mix Jaden lloyd rides for paul jenkins well he's going to get a nice easy time of it to run the distance mm. two starts ago he had 63 on his back uh, over the 1800 and he was good last start he was beaten by readily available and i thought he was tough so from that good gate i think he's got a chance Let's talk a deal goes 1,400 to 2,500 here. Lockie Mansman and Andrew Mellion. Actually, didn't, no, Nikita Berryman. Yeah, Nikita. Yeah. She's picked up the ride. Look, he can run the distance. He'll stay all day, this fellow. And look, if he ran top three, it wouldn't surprise me at all. I still think he's got enough miles in his legs. Okay, go Milo. Larry Cassidy rides for Mark Curry. Just coming off an ordinary one last start behind readily available at the sunny coast. So hard to have. Got the lots trained by Michael Nolan with Mark Duplessis. Been going quite well in Toowoomba, but this is up a little bit on that. Guts and glory is the 10 here. Corey and Kylie Gear and Michael Carl. Yeah, he's a tough horse, this fellow. So um, he could be thereabouts at the end. Greg Cornish trains reflecting image with Jake Bayless. Yeah, this mare uh, has one up to uh, 2,600 metres. That was her last victory at Werribee quite some time ago. I think she's battling a little bit at the moment. Then we get to Like a Beal from the Paddy Busserton stable with Damien Thornton. I think this guy likes it wet. Um, three of his wins have been on heavy ground. So at his best, I think he needs a bit more give in the ground. And Grand Shanghai, Lindsay Goff and Taylor Marshall. Well, he'll run all day, um, this fellow. He, he'll probably come under pressure at about the 600, but he'll keep on keeping on. And he's been well back ever since markets went up. All righty, this is absolutely anybody's race. Readily available, $5. I am the Empire, $6. Flensburg, Flensburg $5. Maxi, gosh, where to look? Have they backed something here? Well, Master Marco, number five, is 10 in two mm -hmm. points to eight. Let's talk a deal, 20 into 15. Well, they have. They're, they're chipping away at a few of them. Go Mello, 26 to 18. Down the bottom, Grand Shanghai, the betting's starting to dry up a little bit, but he was $18 yesterday. He's down to about $9.50, number 13. I'm going with him because his four wins are basically between 2200 and 3200 So the distance suits. It's not necessarily about who's the best horse here. It's all about who can run this long distance, and uh, he can. So 13 to beat three, I am the Empire. He needs to bounce back from that ordinary one last time. Blinkers are back on him. Savvy Legend and Flensburg, they all come out of that same race here a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I made Grand Shanghai my pick as well, although that horse loading now is... It's been a big improver to look at him, Guts and Glory there as well. But I am with Grand Shanghai. He's a funny little horse to get a gauge on, but he did look yeah, much cleaner in the coat here today and very, very fit. So we play Grand Shanghai each way here. As I come to you, Don. Available, a favourite at $5, and Flensburg there at five fifty. Certainly tab customers struggling to sort them out either. Those two. Uh, language. Like a bill, Bobby in the head, barrier two. Red light and the gates open, they're racing. Out wide, I am the Empire began. Well, it's in front, clearly early doors here from Flensburg. Also handy, got the lot three and four wide, now drifting back. Rolling through his guts and glory, followed there by Master Marco. Let's talk a deal and go, Miller. Grand Shanghai got the lot, only got about four behind him now. And they include readily available, like a Beal, Savvy Legend and Reflecting Image. So I'm the Empire's in front here by length and a half, second Flensburg and third the outsider's guts and glory. 
The fence is Master Marco, followed by Go Milo. Let's talk a deal. A length and a half to three wide, Savvy Legend. Around Grand Shanghai, the fence, and got the lot between them. Third last, readily available. Ball like a bill on the fence, and at the tail, this reflecting image. It's Iron the Empire here by two. Second, Flensburg, and third, Guts and Glory. No luck, Savvy Legend, three wide going forward. Master Marco's over on the outside of Go Milo. Grand Shanghai, let's talk a deal. And further back to Like a Bill and got the lot. A length and a half to readily available and reflecting image at the tail about nine or ten off the leader. So I'm the Empire here by three quarters. Second, Savvy Legend back to third. Now the inside, Flensburg. Guts and Glory, fourth and fifth. The inside is Go Milo. Master Marco, the outer. A length and a half to Grand Shanghai, let's talk a deal. And further back to got the lot like a bill on the rail. Still second last, the race favourite, readily available. And the inside reflecting image is last of all about 10 or 12 off the off the leader. So it's I'm the Empire by length of the half. Second, Savvy Legend. Third, the inside, Flensburg. Followed further back by Guts and Glory. That's the inside go, Milo Master Marco. A length and a half to Let's Talk a Deal on the outside of Grand Shanghai. Further back on the field, two got the lot and going forward three wide now, readily available. Uh, trying to latch onto its back as reflecting image and like a bill now shuffle back to the right to the inside last of all as they swing down the side so I am the Empire 600 metres left to run clear by two and a half lengths now second is Flensburg and third Savvy Legend Guts and Glory pass down by Master Marco going forward wider sneaking runs as go Milo further back to readily available and right towards the outside is reflecting image but I am the Empire in the swing around the home turns well clear Second, Flensburg. Go Milo, third. Guts and Glory. Let's talk a deal. And further back on the field to readily available. Iron the Empire's in front by two lengths. Running home pretty well as Go Milo. Weaving through like a bill the inside. Iron the Empire's in front but tippy towing. Claimed by Go Milo on the outside. And Go Milo gets up to end from Iron the Empire. Not sure third. Flensburg. Readily available. Like a bill, good late, followed by reflecting image, guts and glory, followed by let's talk a deal, Master Marco, Grand Shanghai got the lot, and a savvy legend dropped out to finish at the tail. So go Milo. Go Milo's got up to win from I'm the Empire, and a third will be, uh, not sure, who's that for third? Uh, we'll confirm third shortly. On the outside, Go Milo has arrived on the outside. I am the Empire. Ran at a pretty good gallop there and uh, was well clear 200 metres to go, but he's just felt the pinch over the last 100 metres. And uh, Larry Cassidy with a smile on his face as we saw there going over the line, having uh, got Go Milo up in the last couple of strides. So seven beats three. We're just waiting for third. It looks like number four, Flensburg, will get that spot. He does. Fourth to readily available, number one, and then fifth to number 12, like a beal. Yeah, that's some form turnaround, Maxi. I don't know what yeah. happened to him at the Sunshine Sunny Coast. Coast. No, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, 2,500 metres, obviously, he's been able to uh, just simply outstay them. He's by Epaulette. Uh, from a smarty Jones mare, so a little bit of uh, stamina on the maternal side of the family, but he previously had won up to 2,200, but he's gone uh, 2,500 today. 37.65 was the final split, and a short neck. We'll uh, have the overall time shortly. It's not up on the semaphore board. But the winner, Gamillo, trained by Mark uh, Curry and written by... Larry Cassidy, seven, three, four, and one. All righty, Mark Curry is here. Well done, Mark. That was extraordinary. Go, Milo. Yeah, no, it was really good. I was um, very happy for the owners, the horse, and a very good ride. Yeah, he got a great ride. That constant tempo throughout really suited him late, didn't it? Yeah, well, he needed um, the whole length of the straight to get there. <laughs> what happened to him last start? Because he was good prior to that. Oh, no, I just thought he was probably a bit fresh last time, and a bit fired up, and and sort of got onto the bit too, or too much and pulled too hard. This is always a great day for Toowoomba trainers, isn't it? Yeah, no, Toowoomba trainers always go good here, yes. I'd enjoy the win. Thanks very much. There he is, Mark Curry and Go Milo take out the Provincial Stayers final here. Seven beats three, four and one as we head to Kembla. <laughs> I just pounced on him late. <laughs> He doesn't 